We are reporting live at Fashion Art Toronto on they're sponsored by 1664 Bloom Pink Carpet this year. Let's take a tour and see what fashionistas we're going to be running into tonight. Perfect. We are live. Welcome to another evening with Fashion Art Toronto. And I'm here with my first designer, Cleo of Soap Studios. How are you? I'm good, excited, but we're nervous too. Good, excited, we're nervous too. Honestly, you saw how rushed I was when I walked in. I am still nervous too, don't worry about it. Um, you are here tonight as one of the designers with Black Designers of Canada. So talk me through how it feels to be sponsored by them and showcasing this evening at Fashion Art Toronto. It feels very exciting. I was so happy when I got the news that I was going to be a part of this showcase. And even like before being a part of it, I would always be on the Black Designers of Canada website, like looking like, where can I shop, you know? So it's just such a good network and I'm really happy to be a part of it. Absolutely. So now tell us, for those who are tuning in and can't be here, which I mean, you should be here. What are we going to see when we see your collection and what is some of the inspiration behind it? So the collection is very like ethereal, but also pretty like powerful. I love like girly clothing, but then bringing it also back to some like tailoring. So it's kind of nautical themed. I, yeah, I'm bad at describing, but it's giving like sailors and sirens. I like sa tailored sailors, sirens, ethereal. I'm into all the verbs, all the adjectives. Um, and so talk us through, obviously, as we mentioned, we, Black Designers of Canada sponsoring. How do you feel the, uh, the scope and the landscape is for Black Designers in Canada right now? And what do you hope for the future for Black Designers? I mean, the future is always just like more, just a bigger platform, just more Black Designers finding success. Um, and I think like the future, like there's so many talented black designers even just like in Toronto that I've seen. So I think the future needs to be like more platforms, more organizations like Black Designers of Canada and just like, yeah, really promoting. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Cleo. We're going to let you head off and get ready for your show. We're very excited to see it. We will be there watching. So tune in and check out her designs if you aren't here in person. And we'll be back with another interview shortly.